In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a timeline slide using Morph Transitions. As you can see here, I've added this uh, timeline starting from 1995 till 2023. And then you can add the image, the image which is I've said the beginning and you can add some detailed text. And then the rest of the image will come when I move my slide to the next one. So when I click, it moves here. You can see here now the focus is not 2001 and now the, the one for the 1995 it's it's become a grayscale a smaller one at the top and the focus is here you can see here and when i click it goes to 2007 you can give a different uh, title and the detailed text and then 2017 then comes the 2023 again if you want to go back you just press and it will go back to 2001 then 1995 Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide then go to the view, enable the guides then go to the insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to choose this rectangle cover the slide the whole slide with this rectangle shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to insert one image here for that right mouse click go to the format shape under fill select picture or texture fill click on insert and four different ways you can insert the image here from a file that means if you have any image uh, in your local pc you can choose these options or you can go and select the stock images on online pictures from the internet or from the icons also you can choose so in this case i'm going to select the online pictures and here you can add any background image depending on the requirement so here i'm just going to say a dark mountains all right and then it will give me a wide variety of different images you can see here so depending on the requirement i can just choose any uh, image i want for example let me just choose this image and click on insert so the image is inserted here the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add one timeline so let me just zoom out a little bit go to the insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the line draw the line from this end to this end all right and shape outline make it white color and if you want you can make it a dotted line as well so depending on the requirement you can just choose any dotted line so once this is done i'm going to add five timelines here five steps for that go to insert shapes and in this case i'm going to use a diamond shape which is under the basic shape so select the diamond shape hold the shift key so that you get a perfect diamond shape here with the equal dimension you can see here 0 0.46 so shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white so depending on the requirement you can make it 0.4 also okay so you can see here and then bring this one exactly here and then i'm going to add four more so this is second this is third this is fourth and this end it will be five and now you can see there's no equal spacing between this to get the equal spacing select all these uh, uh, diamond shapes hold the shift key select this one this this and this then go to the shape format align and say distribute horizontally so equal spaces are created between these diamond shapes so once this is done let me just add the year for example i'm going to start with 1995 I'm going to make it the font white so it is visible and then open sans extra bold this is the font I'm going to use it maybe uh, if you have some uh, choice for you to do it you can just choose your own fonts or different fonts hold the control shift key I'm going to add it here then here hold the control shift key and drag it and drop it okay so now this is maybe 1995 this is could be 2001 this could be 2009 this will be say 2018 and this is a 2023 all right so now i've created the timeline and the these timelines the other timelines except this 1995 i'm going to make it a uh, for example a uh, light okay only the 1995 this is my focus slide okay so once this is done the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add 
five different images here so okay for that go to in shape here draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so this is my big one which is for the 1995 and make sure that it is aligned center properly all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can just fill any color or you can just add some nice images to it so before that one let me just add five small uh, shapes here okay so press ctrl d so maybe this one the size could be i'm going to make it five okay that will be uniform and this one i'm going to make it maybe two only okay and this one i'm going to place it here this is second third let me just zoom out a little bit and four so this is for 1995 then 2001 2009 18 and 2023 okay all the different images i'm going to add it here all right so let me just select this one picture or texture fill by default it will add the same picture what we have added recently then go to insert i'm going to say online pictures and here i'm going to say the image which i'm going to choose for example is a sunset all right so you can just see here we have got different images here i'm going to select maybe this one or depending on the requirement whichever suits your requirement you can just choose that image and click on insert you can see here the image got inserted here and if you want to play with the properties you know you can just increase or decrease this offset properties here okay so once this is done let me just select the second one picture or texture fill click on insert online pictures and you can choose depending on the requirement for example i'm going to say some landscape here and some landscape maybe i'm going to choose an image which is say uh, this one click on insert so this is my second image i'm going to select this one picture or texture fill all right so let me just give some different here i'll talk about some business you can see here some different images i'm going to choose maybe this one and click on insert so this is my third image likewise i have to just choose the image for the rest of this one so let me just quickly do this one and i'm going to say uh say uh, some more things i'll just talk about growth let's see whether if there's anything meaningful if it's not meaningful we need to just change it so maybe it's not a good images here let me just choose some landscapes here and later on we can change it depending on the requirement so i'm going to choose one image here and here i'm going to choose one more i will just say some business people all right and then you can just choose any image maybe this image and click on insert so i have inserted all five different images here okay so once this is done the next thing which we like to do is to add some detailed text here so it's taking some time to insert the image something goes wrong maybe yeah now it's inserted the next thing which i'm going to insert the details of this big image for that go to the insert text box and i'm going to type here title for 1995 you can just change the color center align i'm going to use open sans extra bold increase the size okay then add some detailed text here so again go to insert text box equals lorem within brackets one and this is all detailed text i'm going to make it open sans light and then i'm going to choose the white font maybe you can justify this one and if you want to reduce the font size you can further reduce the font size so you can see here so these are my text so it looks something like this can you see here and here also this particular uh, the size i would like to change here so instead of 0.4 maybe i'm going to use 0. Point or 0.6 point and here also 0. 0.6 okay so that we know that the focus is on this particular slide okay for this particular year so this is my very first slide again if you want to add some more information you can add the information now let me just duplicate the slide 
you can see here i'm going to duplicate the slide and here the focus should be on the the next one so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to use the format painter and click it here so this is more bold and then for this one i'm going to make it on this one so it becomes light and here the now it is 0.6 for this one okay so it's bigger 0.6 and here it will go back to 0.4 okay so you can see here and then select this one make it maybe 1.5 only the height and width you can see here and go to the shape form or picture format color i'm going to give a gray color here a black and white and i'm going to put it here so this is my second focus image so this one i'm going to make it five you can see here and put it in the center exactly yeah and this is for 2001 text you can just change it and here second slide go to the transition select the morph all right you can see here it becomes like this and this one the duration should be i'll make it to one all right so it will be much more faster so now if i play you can see here we are in the 1995 this is the image and when i click it changes here all right so likewise i'm going to do the same thing for the uh, the rest of these options and if you want to change the background image you can just select this one again go and insert again i'm going to select the online pictures i will say a different mountain range or i will just say purple mountain okay and then it will give you some purple mountains maybe this image and click on insert and if you see here now if i play this is 1995 and when i click it is changing and the background also changes the similar thing i'm going to duplicate now and follow the same steps here so now this becomes 0.5 sorry 1.5 the height and width okay you can see here and I'm going to make this as a grayscale, put it here, bring this here, increase the size to point to five. Okay, put it in the center. All right, and make sure that this also you have to move it. Okay, let me just reduce the this one. And before slide also I forgot to do that one. So we have to just make sure that this is in. It moves here and here also here also this also should be moved okay so let me just move it by myself yeah and now the same thing you have to change this one to 2009 now this will be 0.6 let me just go here and i'm going to make it as 0.6 because the focus on 2009 now all right and here this will be bold using the format painter i'm going to click it here and this will be normal one all right so and then if you want to change that image you can just go and change the image you can just give say or uh, maybe a, i'll just say a green background you can just change any background as i said so any background which you feel much more appealing you can just choose those maybe i'm going to choose this one let's see how it looks i don't know it's not that you know great so if you want you can keep it or you change it so no problem so let me just play now so this is my title for the 1995 when i click it goes can you see here it goes so if i go back it will be like this all right so you can do the similar things for the rest of the options and depending on the requirement if you want to add more uh, slides you can add and follow the same principle